So today, we're gonna be doing the history challenge. I've never done a challenge before. I have just recently come back to The Sims within the past, I don't know, a couple months or so. Um, so I'm really excited to start this. Um, and first, we have to create our ancestors, I believe. Um, I'm gonna be looking up the challenge rules again so that I know what aspirations I can choose. And um, looking at the forum, um, so I think I have an okay understanding of how the challenge works, but we shall see. Um, and I am starting in Sulani because I feel like it's like very island vibes. Um, it's given me like, you know, beginning of the world type vibes. I deleted everything in Sulani um, as much as I could uh, possibly delete. And then I evicted every single household from every world because I'm trying not to have like too many townies walking around. So I hope that by evicting them, um, they'll be gone. So we'll see. But today I wanted to start the ancestors. So I'm going to create a new household and we're going to do this. Um, and so just to let everybody know, I do play with Wicked Whims. Um, I have as much, um, like, uh, just taking, let's see, there we go. I have as much um, censorship as I could possibly find, uh, but I just really love, love uh, using Wicked Whims. Um, it gives me so much to work with and play with. So you might see some explicit content, just forewarning. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and start with our first uh, person. I do like to make uh, women first. So, let's see. So first, let's start with um, her aspirations. So I think everything has to be kind of pretty much from nature. We start in the prehistoric age. Um, and I think I like, I want her to be this freelance botanist. She wants to grow plants and become an expert gardener. That sounds like fun. Um, we can pick our traits for now. So because she's a gardener, um, she's gonna have a green thumb. She loves gardening. She, oh, let's make her a child of the island. She's gonna live in Sulani. That's gonna be really fun for her. And, oh, loves outdoors. That makes sense. She's gonna be spending a a lot of time outdoors. Okay, she's not gonna look like this at all. So she has a green thumb, she wants to be a botanist, she's a child of the islands, and she loves the outdoors. I love that. So, first of all, we're going to be um, changing her skin. I want to go with somebody who's a little bit darker. Um, very like, first peoples. Um, very like, you know, from like this hot climate. Um, I really like that. Let's see. That's cool. That's a pretty good face to start with. And I made her shorter because I feel like people back then were a lot shorter. And I do use custom content for this. This is um, Mira Mira. XX Mirror Mirror, X Mirror Mirrors, uh, Melanin Pack 2. So shout out to her for this great Melanin Pack. Um, there's like conflicting things. I don't want music. Okay, much better. We just don't want that music. We want lo-fi chill music. Um, so she's looking pretty good. That's hilarious. I might make her shorter at the very end if I remember because 
then I can't do her detailed stuff. Okay, so, nope, we're not doing this. Um, these are hideous eyebrows. Much better. Let's see. We're gonna give her kind of bigger eyebrows. Make her not, okay. And let's just take off everything. So, so we're thinking prehistoric. Um, hair, we've gotta change this hair. Um, let's see. I kind of like this hairstyle for prehistoric. I feel like that's very like, oh, actually, I like that hairstyle. Um, I feel like that's a little modern. Um, that might be cool. I feel like hair really sets off everything. Face and hair. I think, ugh, I really like this one. Whoever did this, fantastic job. Um, I think, I think I'm gonna go for that first one. I really like this. I think that's really cool. It's giving me like very prehistoric vibes, no. And anything in hats? I don't think so. I don't think we want her to wear a hat. <laughs> uh, no. No, no, no. We don't. No, no, no. We don't want that. I have stuff for the medieval uh, side of things in here, too. Oh, some flowers in her hair. Can you even see the flowers in her hair? That's cool. Can't really see it. That's a shame. Can we see those? No, okay, that's for a different hairstyle. <gasps> oh my god, so cute, but so not for prehistoric times. Okay. Um, I think we're definitely not going with... That's cool. We're not going with a hat. Now we're going with some accessories. See what's going on. Oh, we can do like a little flower right there. Let's do that. That'll be fun. And let's see, like leaf earrings? Oh, no, that doesn't make sense for prehistoric times. They're very not with, oh, that's cool. That's cool as hell. Oh, I like that. That could be prehistoric. Let's go with the brown, yeah. Oh yeah, that looks really good. People have been stretching out their ears forever, for so many years. So many thousands of years, so let's go with that. She can have a little body modification, a little stretched ears. Hey! Hey, what's up? What's up, bro? What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing some Mellow Sims, some Yellow Mellow. Mmm, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. What are you doing? Oh, you just woke up. How? Come on, snake. Yes. Gotta get the snake. What are you doing? FTL, what's that? Oh God, I don't know if you've ever had a proper sleep schedule in your life. Let's see, she's gonna have normal eyelashes for everything. What is FTL? Faster than light, what is this? Oh God, y'all are so young, you youngins. You young, young, youngins. I can't do it anymore. I'm too old, oh my God. Voss. Oh no. <laughs> are you sending me things? I'm like, what are these noises? What's happening? I'm just trying to give her some 
eyelashes. Okay. Um, 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 um. You might see some boobies on here. I have some mods. So you might see some nip slip. But I'm gonna try not to have that happen. <laughs> I'm too young for boobs and boobs. Just in, you know, just in case you feel uncomfortable. Let's see. Let's do we want to keep these eyes? Yo, yes. We're trying to make I'm doing a history challenge. I'm trying to make my ancestors for this challenge. So maybe we'll do something. I don't know. What were ancient people's eyes like? I'm sure they were probably brown. Like prehistoric peoples. Um, I don't know, I like, okay. I like most of her, let's see. I feel like, let's go into detail mode. It's like, I like this, but I feel like her nose needs to be a little bit. It's too smushed. Okay. I really like her lips. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. And then I like when the lip is a little pushed out. Okay, she looks pretty good. She looks pretty good. I'm gonna change her ears. <laughs> okay. Oh. That's not a bad look. But it's not for her. Maybe she'll get like small ears. She has like small ears. Very small. Small little ears. Oh! Ah! You're gonna see all the boobs! Oh no! <laughs> all the boobs! Okay. All the boobs in everything! Okay. <laughs> you can really customize so much in The Sims. It's great. Why are you making it work? Oh, no. They didn't have dentists back then, but come on. <laughs> that was a lot, right? I told you. I gave a content warning in the very beginning that there's going to be some things that might be shown here. Can't get scars. I'm sorry. There is a lot that goes on in the skin details, but it's a human body. It's fine. Whatever. Let's see. Um, should we give her some like, we can't do this pretty makeup, but we could do is I got some tribal makeup that maybe they would have worn in the prehistoric times. Um, what is it? Is it? No, that's not it. Oh, it's in cold weather. Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, so, okay, let's see. Let's give her an outfit. I got some prehistoric outfits. Let's see. I think this makes her invisible. <laughs> I'm not mad at this. That looks cool as hell. She's like an invisible snake lady. Come on. That's amazing. That's fantastic. Or she could just be, yeah, okay, she'd be invisible. Okay, this is some broken stuff. Oh no, is that broken too? Okay. Oh no, I got so much that was broken. Okay, that's like a cold weather outfit. Oh, oh queen. Okay, they're gonna be not buff and very, very skinny because they are not living in modern times. <laughs> yes. 
What is it? Quetzalcoatl? Quetzalcoatl. Come on. Okay. I like that actually a lot. Um, I don't think I have much other prehistoric stuff. I mean, that's cool. But we can save it for like something else. So, okay. She's going to have... This is her formal wear. And she's going to be a... Uh, in this. It's like a ritualistic prehistoric look. And maybe even we can, um, instead of this hair, we can make her bald and give her like, oh yeah, come on. Come on. Oh yes, this is her formal look. She's going out on the town. Yes, when she goes to a wedding, everybody arrives in this. That's perfect. Okay, so we can't be doing this in prehistoric. Look at this! Look at this! It's Medusa! <laughs> Look at her! Look at these legs! Oh god! Look at these legs! <laughs> Look at this spider! Come on! Come on! What was it, she? She love? That's right. That's right. Come on. Get into it. Okay. But on a more serious... <laughs> no, but that looks really cool! Um, let's see. What can we do for... Now this is where it gets tricky because she might have... Oh! She has bottoms because she is a spider person. Okay. So, there we go. So, this is her uh, athletic outfit. Um, we're going leopard on cheetah. <laughs> they have a lot of looks. They got, <laughs> they got a lot of different mythological uh, backstories, we shall say. Okay, this is for when she sleeps. Okay, she might... No, nope, she's not gonna go bare-breasted. Okay, so this is, so, okay, her workout outfit is also her, um, oh, you know what? I did get, I did get shoes that they can wear. I did get shoes that they can wear, and it's like, uggies, uggs, let's see. Oh, come on, work, look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, I, oh, it looks like she's actually, like, going clubbing or something. Like, she's going to be going to a rave. Look at her. I love her so much. Okay. So that's the formal. This is her uh, athletic gear. This is what she sleeps in. Okay, now it's time for her party outfit. Her party outfit is going to be this, like, maybe, like, a Tiger. Oh, it's multiple, multiple types of animals. There's, there's a giraffe, there's tiger, there's cheetah. She's doing good. She's doing good for herself. Um, let's see. And she's gonna be wearing, you know, her regular, maybe she has like a different set of shoes for this one. That looks good like it. That's her party outfit when she's a go going. Um, now we're going into swimwear. Makes her invisible. Maybe she swims in her, uh, I don't want to be, no, she's not going to be naked. Maybe she swims in her, like, regular everyday outfit. That looks good. <laughs> PETA doesn't exist in this world yet. This is prehistoric times. It's pre PETA. We can wear animal skin in this world because humans haven't fucked up the world at this stage yet. They're emerging. This is, uh, let's say, 180,000 years ago. Oh! That doesn't look like a swimwear. Oh, let's see. Oh, that could be your swimmer. Or well, this, or this, or this, or this, or this. Oh, I don't know. I kind of like that. 
It's classic, it's simple. Okay, so when it's really hot outside, what does she wear? She wears her everyday outfit. <laughs> she wears this because, but maybe like no shoes. Cause it's just, it's too hot. Hot, hot, hot. It's too hot. Okay, so her swimwear and her hot outfit are the exact same. Party, sleep, athletic. It's kind of weird athletic, but that's fine. Formal, hilarious. Every day. What does she wear when it's cold out? Oh my god, look how scary this broken content is. Ah! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so scary. <laughs> um, maybe she wears. No, that's medieval. Maybe she wears. Uh, does any of the stuff I downloaded work? Let's see. Broken. I think that's. Oh, that's not broken, but that's like her formal outfit. Maybe she can wear, you know, her formal outfit when it's cold. That makes sense, right? It's cold out, yeah, she'll wear that. Um, I think, oh! Ah, look at this, look at that outfit, come on. That's gotta be her party outfit. Oh, I like that though. That's gotta be her party outfit. Like, that was too cool. Let's see if I can find it again. That is pretty cool. Yeah, looks good. Looks really good. Okay. So then, broken. I guess he's just wearing this. It's cold, she's just wearing that. Okay, so to name her, what is her name going to be? <sighs> Let's see. Um, what should her name be? This is History Challenge Making My Ancestors. It's hello everybody from the raid. Oh my gosh, so cool. Um, let's see. Well, okay, let's do like Lori. Hilarious, Lori. One hundred eighty thousand years ago. My name is Lori. Um. Oh. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the follow. That's so nice. Oh my gosh! Hi! Thank you, Jeff. You play so cool! How are you? We're just playing some cute little sims. Talia. I like that. Oh my goodness! Something is going on. Hey! Thank you for the follow, Epi. Streets? Sorry if I'm mispronouncing it. <laughs> Elsie! Hey! Thank you so much for the follow. That's awesome. We are just chilling, playing some Sims, making the ancestors for the history challenge. Um, oh, I think I kind of made like some play ancestors yesterday, and I think their last name was like Ong. I think that's pretty cool. I like Talia Ong. That's nice. This is her everyday outfit. She's got that snake going on. She's a little risque. Um, cool, I like her, Talia Ong. Let's look at her. She's beautiful. Come through. And she wants to be a gardener, how cute. So, we're gonna add a new sim. Um. <laughs> Just to let everybody know, I do use um, Wicked Whims mods and things like that. I try to censor out as much as possible, but in my skin details, there is like 
some nudity. So I hope everybody is 18 years and older. Um, because this is the history challenge, they have to have like angler, angling ace or the freelance botanist, or I think there's a couple others, but we're going with the angling ace. So what do they want to do? Know everything about fishing, very cool. Um, I like to start with their personalities and that helps me guide like what they're gonna look like. So they're gonna be prehistoric. Um, I kind of want to make him like a genius because he's gonna be making like inventions, woodworking stuff, things of that nature. Mm, let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Can't be a bookworm. Um, Talia's a green thumb. Maybe they could be a farmer. This is a little mod. They love to survive off of their farm. They can be gardening. Mm, let's see. Oh, maybe he's a little childish, uh, too. <laughs> he's a little childish. And erratic. I think they used to be, like, insane, and maybe they changed that. I'm watching the English Simmer do the Asylum Challenge right now that she did, like, five years ago. And uh, people were not very happy that uh, every Sim had, like, this insane trait, so maybe they changed it to erratic, which I think makes a lot more sense. Mmm... I don't know. Maybe they are... They're childish. Childish and goofball? That seems like too much. Let's make them... Um... Hmm. Oh, a maker! Yeah! Like, they're gonna make things. He's gotta be self-sufficient, self-reliant. I love that. Okay. Yeah, that seems really good. So... We're going to start off with, um, I do want to make them a little bit of a darker skin tone. That seems pretty good. I think that's the same as Talia. Okay, that looks pretty good. And we're gonna go with his fa- okay, remember this skin tone. Oh, like that. Let's see. That looks not. I this mustache. I can't. Okay. There we go. <laughs> um. Let's see. Looks pretty good. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I kind of like. Hmm. I feel like the first guy. I think that was the first guy. That seems nice. He seems really nice. Look at him. I gotta change his eyebrows because these are not working. <laughs> these are not the chi. Okay. Let's see. Really thin eyebrows. No, no, no. Maybe like big, bold eyebrows. Yes. That looks good. Oh, thanks for stopping by, Jeffy. That was really nice. Thank you so much for the raid. Oh my gosh. Bye, I'll see. Um, light brown eyes. That seems nice. Okay. And then... Okay. If anybody's watching, this is where you're gonna see some wild things. I'll try to be really quick. So I'll give him some body hair and this skin, because that looks good. Um, they didn't have dentists back then, so I'm gonna give him a little bit of some bucked teeth. I think that's cool. Let's give him some cool hair, some good hair. Do I have this hair? Oh, that's cool. It's such a modern haircut though, okay. Um, 
we are going to give him... Now they're gonna be playing at suit. Hilarious. Let's do that. <laughs> Let's just make him the Grim Reaper. Okay, no. We're gonna... I know, I'm sorry, the skin details, the skin details, that's where every dirty little thing is. Um, but Sulani has a cool haircut that I want him to have. And it is... where? It's like this really full head of hair that's curly. Is it this one? That might be the one. I think that's it. That's Sulani, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I really like this hair. I think that is very cool. Very big, very full. Looks good. Um, let's see, do we want him to have like different eyes? Those seem nice. Okay, let's see if we can No, that's too big. Okay. <laughs> I really like him. Okay. Looks good. So, we have his face. We have his hair. Oh, okay. So, when it's cold out, I want him to have, like, this, um, this fox hat. Look at this. Look at this fox hat. So cool. Love it. Okay. So, that's just when it's hot. Uh, accessories. Oh, this is also for when it's... Wait. For when it's cold. This is what he's gonna have. Look at this! Okay. Gotta change that color, though, but... Oh, no. Things are freaking out. Oh, no. The CC might be broken, too. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, while we're here, let's give him the eyelashes. And, um, I do want to be kind of stereotypical, masculine, so not too much eyelash, just enough to make him look human. Oh, which, which one did I choose? Oh, no. This one. Because if they don't have eyelashes, they look weird, and I can't with EA eyelashes, so I have to add them in myself all the time, constantly. Looking good. Ba boom Got these eyelashes on. <laughs> Put on some 301s. Let's see. And I think they look pretty natural. Like, look at those. Look at those eyelashes. You can see them kind of from the side profile. And... See, he can wear it here. Look at this. Look at this! Dripping. Love it. Okay. Um... Finish with the eyelashes. Where is... Where is the makeup? I, did, I just downloaded, like, a bunch of cool, like... Oh, cool. Okay. She had makeup? I don't know. She had this kind of makeup. That looks pretty cool. I kind of like the three. Hmm. That looks pretty cool. What do you think? I like that. I kind of want Talia to have some cool face makeup, too. Queen! Oh my god, look at her! That is too cool. Oh, I don't know. Oh! Look at this! I love it. Oh, she's gotta have something. Looks great. Oh, that looks very nice. Very, like, decorative. Let's see. I kinda like this. Looks really good. Yeah, looks good. Looks nice. Uh, maybe it's like, 
Like a tattoo. So she has it all the time. Because, yeah, I do want to see that. Like when she's just like, you know, walking around. And inevitably, they always walk around in like their underwear of some sort. Or like, <laughs> doing something. Oh, it looks like delicate too, which is cool. Yeah, that looks great. Okay. Um, I always gotta find where it is. Okay. Yes. So she looks beautiful. He looks cool. Love this makeup. It's very nice. Uh, maybe. Oh, I have this um makeup that like glows. Maybe that's like his formal makeup. That's pretty cool. And maybe, yeah, that doesn't look like a tattoo. So maybe he won't have it like all the time. <laughs> and then his little fox hat. <laughs> That's so great. Okay. <laughs> what part looked like a juggalo? There is no part that looked like a juggalo. I, oh, is it this makeup? Do juggalos look like this? Is this a thing? Is that a thing that happens? In the juggalo community? In the juggalo fam? Yes, I've been saving this. Looks great. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna have to go into the skin details again. Because... They got this feet overlay, and it makes their feet look way better. Look at this. Way better. She's got it. And I think we're going to be seeing a lot of feet. Oh no, here comes some more boobies. Skin details. Ah, feet overlay! Okay. <laughs> okay. Um... Where were we? We're doing this. We've got, um, I think he's just gonna not have shoes. So far as formal wear, um, these are all broken. Formal wear again. We're gonna, oh, do that like a hooded look. So I'm making bald, we're gonna put this on. We're gonna, oh. Come through, look at this, looks great. And then we're gonna... Okay, let's start with the bottom so that... <laughs> let's, uh, his athletic gear is Spider Queen. <laughs> oh, actually, if we get rid of masculine, we can have some more. Oh my gosh, this loincloth though. Oh my god, a little bit of his dick comes out. Okay. That looks good, that looks good. A little like skirt thing. And no top, because why? Yeah, let's do that. We can actually I'm pretty sure I have this overlay where it makes him like muscular or lean. Is that still in here? Yeah. So you can give him like, see, muscular, lean. We'll give him just the lean, the nice lean look. When he sleeps, maybe he has this like a tiger shirt, this tiger tank. Oh my god. Oh my god. I just downloaded all this wild content. Okay. And he's got some... Mm, did I have stripes? Okay, that's fine. He's got some little booty shorts. No shoes. No clips. <laughs> oh no, my brother's a juggalo. 
That's not good. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it is good. I haven't heard too many fantastic things about Juggalos. Oh, that looks cool. Okay, love it. Um, okay, get this party thing off. I don't know if I'm loving that. That's not so much a love. I guess you could just go shirtless. Shoes. You give him some shoes. Give that man some shoes. And then I wonder if there is like a head wrap. Oh, hey. That's cool. It's a party. That's a party. Come on. I don't know if I like the shoes. <laughs> no shoes. That is a party. Yes. Sleep. Formal. Hilarious. Love it. Party. Swimwear. Um. Oh. <laughs> that is usually a woman's swimwear. Oh. <laughs> That is very, very low. Okay, maybe, oh, and that one is broken, but this one works, so. Um, some snakeskin speedo wear. So when it's hot out, he just wears his normal outfit. Just his normal outfit. And we'll give him a face paint for this one too. Let's see, where is that face paint? Is this it? Yeah. So let's give him the face paint with this too, so that he matches. That's like his everyday, you know, war paint, face paint. His going out look. Okay, so that's hot. And then now we'll do cold. So when it's cold out, is there really anything? That's not a cold look. I guess we can do, he wears his formal outfit for that. That makes sense. And then it would be great if we would be able to put this, uh, that amazing jacket on him. Oh, but it looks ter- mm. It doesn't look that bad, actually. It's like blending into his fox fur, but that doesn't look bad. That looks pretty cool. Okay, we'll put him in every day, and then for her cold look, we have, for your cold look, Talia, we have this Valhallen, we can put the snake on her again. But we also have this Valhallen, I don't even know, coat. If I can find it. Does she wear this? Oh, ah, we can put the snake and this on. Okay. You know what? She'll have this too. That's cool. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, no snake. Maybe when she's partying, she has a snake, though. <laughs> it's her party snake, her everyday snake. When she sleeps, snake? No. Definitely when she's in her formal outfit, right? She's gotta have that snake. Oh, yes. Love it. Not for everything. Okay, so we need a name for him. He is also going to be... Well, okay. Ong and... I feel like D something like... Drawl? I like Drawl. Um, 
Jeremy. <laughs> Rowan? Rowan? No. Rowan draw. Hmm. I really like Ankh. Tedder? Tedder draw? Does that make sense? Tedder draw? I don't know. That's a, a tedder. Tet. Not teat. <laughs> mm. Juggalo. Jug. Jug. Draw. Jug. Jug is kind of cool. Talia Ong and Jug Draw. I like that a lot. Let's save it. Let's finalize it. Oh, actually, I didn't. Um, okay, they're household members. That's good. Should we change their walks? He's gonna be... Yeah, he's like a tough. Nah. He's just normal. Okay. Nice, okay. That's a good voice. That's nice. Sounds good. What does her voice sound like? Um, maybe a little bit higher. Nice. That sounds good. Oh my god, I'm so happy with this family. This is the ancestor family. Okay. Let's put it in writing. The Ong family. No, I'll make it the ancestors. No. What should we do? I guess Ong family. They're matrilineal. Ooh, so nice. Oh my god, I love it. Okay. So, we have our family, the Ong family. They have $22,000, uh, simoleons, to choose a place. Maybe, let's choose a place, and then we'll wrap things up. So, I think, hmm. I want a place that's like close to the ocean, which is for everything. Um, so I think they have to be on a 50 by 50 lot. Maybe this. It's like centrally located to everything. Seems like a nice place. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna go with this. I'm gonna go with this lot. And it's an oceanic paradise. Talia would love it. <laughs> yeah, let's get it unfurnished. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're purchasing the home, the lot, the land, nothing around. And we got that censorship going on. Okay, so, oh my god, she looks so good. She looks really good. He also looks so good. I love these people so much. These sims. It was really good. Okay, so this is our lot. It is beautiful. Um, just ignore those homes over there. But I think, you know, for the most part, this is a really good lot. There is, there's a ship, boo. But there's like this really nice ocean water. It kind of goes out far, so I think in the future we'll probably have to be building like, um, you know, this maybe like island paradise. I don't know, but it'll definitely be extending out here because this is this is actually not much, <laughs> not much land to work with, which is fine, because you know I did want them to have a lot of. Um, like fishing area, a lot of um, natural stuff around to like explore and to find and to hunt um, for food, maybe like harvest some things. Um, maybe we'll have to have like a garden too. 
So, yeah, that'll be really fun. Okay, I think I'm gonna end it here. Um, and thanks so much for everybody who stopped by and who watched. Uh, <laughs> my brother wants me to put them in a house with fireplaces and no doors. So, they're my ancestors. I can't have them do that. <laughs> but, uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know. Um, I'll probably have to read over the rules again. Just to make sure that everything's kosher. But, let's end on um, our little happy sim, Talia. Okay. Uh, bye, brother, and anybody else. We shall meet again soon. Talk to you later.